so many Americans today, Memorial Day is anything but a reason to hit the beach or pool. Instead, they stop to remember the fallen men and women who paid the ultimate price for our freedoms. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Fort Lauderdale with more on some local observances. Ted? Hi, Elliot. Right now we're at Bo Camper's Restaurant in Fort Lauderdale. They're preparing to have a memorial here for veterans going back all the way to World War II. want to show you something right over here. They have locations like this set up around the restaurant. This would be the missing man or fallen hero table. It's in memory of those who did not return. You know, many places here in South Florida had Memorial Day observances today, uh, this morning, with parades and ceremonies. Active military marching side by side with Boy Scouts. Today we remember those who gave it all on the battlefield. It's a day we teach our children about the sacrifices others have made on our behalf. I just want them to grow up and be respectful um, and uh, understand that you know there's there's people out there giving everything so that he can grow up in a in a free country. For vets like Jim Daniel, who served in Korea, today is a reminder that we also need to do more for those who served and came back. We get guys in the VA there waiting four hours, four months for an appointment, and then sitting on the bench for four hours to see a doctor. And the doctors are so busy, it's here, take the pills, see you later. In David today, veterans from World War II were honored in a knighthood celebration, receiving the Order of St. George Medal. Staff Sergeant Morton Kalin is 95 years old. He's being honored for his service in the South Pacific in World War II. He hopes no one forgets the sacrifices his fellow soldiers made. Well, I think they don't always realize that they sacrificed and offered their life uh, to make the United States safe. That's my dad. He fought in Italy. Leslie Lowenthal's dad, Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Lowenthal, was in a World War II tank destroyer unit in Europe. He, too, is honored. I don't think there's enough that we can do for people who serve our country, whether they're currently serving, have served, or gave it all to serve. And just to be grateful that we're safe because of the people who go out there and fight on our behalf. And we're back live here at Bow Campers. You can see the flags there, one for each of the branches of service. So the preparations are underway here tonight. That memorial gets underway at 7 o'clock here at Bow Campers. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.